Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, The Past 57 on YouTube. And I'm here to bring y'all episode two of the top 10 national championship teams from the past decade. So, the next team we're going to talk about, excuse me, is the 2007 national championship team, LSU. So, a lot of people like, you know, the 07 LSU team was arguably a lot of people argues not me <laughs> that's why they number nine on my list but a lot of people argue and say that they uh that lsu had one of the best teams ever the 017 and and to me personally i don't agree with that but, but before i get started into that let me tell y'all one thing that i love about this you doing this youtube shit this shit right here is a great stress reliever. Whatever you whatever you got going on in your life, you can come up here, you can commentate, you can edit a video, you can, you know what I mean? And you're not only bringing joy to yourself, but you bring joy to other people. Now me, I'm on a, you know, I'm on a lower level. I don't have that many subs or whatever, but you know what I mean? Like I said, whether one person watch it or no, you know what I mean, a million people watch it, I still en enjoy bringing some type of joy or, you know, laughter to just regular people you know what i'm saying that you never know what's going on in their life and this is a great stress reliever man so that, that's that's one of the reasons why i love doing this youtube shit now back to regularly scheduled programming a lot of people argue that lsu was one of was arguably one of the toughest teams now now lsu had a great defense in 07 man they had glenn dorsey they was pretty much yo i want to tell you that they was stacked yo they had that linebacker High Smith, you know what I mean? They had Chad Chad Jones that was the uh he was a safety. I think if I I want to say he in the NFL now cuz that was 07. I want to say he in the NFL. But they had that dude Tyson Jackson, that defensive end. They was they was beast and as you see I throw the interception right there. I was pissed playing Roselle. They actually played me tough too. But I might have lost this game. I don't even remember cuz I had it queued up for so long, but you know what I mean? They had Jacob Hester. That was the fullback. He's in the league. You know what I mean? They was pretty much stacked, man. They had Charles Scott. They quarterbacks, I think, if I remember correctly, they did quarterback by committee. They had Jared Lee. They had Matt Flynn. That's with the Seahawks now. And they also had, I don't know if y'all remember this, uh, this black kid named Ryan Perilou. Perilou, something like that was his name. But he got kicked out of school. For whatever reason, I don't remember. That was 07. But he got kicked out and he went to like a, a black college like Alabama State or one of them other colleges. And I think he was, I think he's in Arena League now. But, you know I mean? They was pretty much that. But as far as them being arguably one of the best teams, I cannot agree with that. They, they, they had two losses on their belt. They had two losses. You know, they had just lost um, LeBron Landry. They had just lost... Jamarcus Russell, who I really wasn't high on anyway. As you see, my wide receiver drops the wide open catch right there. But they had they had two losses under their belt, man. I was, you know what I mean? How can they arguably be, arguably be the best team ever when you got two notches under your belt when a lot of other teams that I'm going to mention later in the episodes and upcoming episodes went undefeated? But, you know what I mean? Let's just talk about the schedule real quick. They played Mississippi State. They played Virginia Tech. They played Middle Tennessee. They played South Carolina, you know, the, the regular SEC opponents. Tulane, Florida, Kentucky, Auburn, Alabama, um, La Tech, Louisiana Tech, La Tech, that's what I call them. Ole Miss, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Ohio State. So, the first couple of games they won until they went to Kentucky. Now, anybody that's a big college football fan should remember that Kentucky. And I'm going to say Kentucky had that black quarterback. I cannot remember his name to save my life, but I know he got drafted by the Giants. I can't remember his name. But they lost to Kentucky. Uh, it was a national televised TV in triple overtime, 37-43. to 43. It went to triple overtime. It was a great game. They always show this game on Classic Sports. Excuse me, I burped and shit. <laughs> but they always show this game on classic sports. It went into like three overtimes. And it's y'all probably be thinking about the game where um Kentucky thought they won and they threw the shower. They gave the coach the Gatorade bath. Not that game. 
because LSU came back and won that game on a Hail Mary. But they lost that game. They also lost another game in triple overtime that year to Arkansas, who wasn't even ranked at the time. So how can they arguably be arguably, arguably be the best college team ever when you was losing the unranked opponents? And I that year, I want to say Kentucky, the Kentucky squad was pretty good. They had a running back named Locke. They was pretty stacked. They Kentucky was pretty good that year. They had that black quarterback. I cannot remember his name to save my life right now. But they went on to um to the national championship game and they played Ohio State, which to me the Big Ten. I don't know. It might be some Big Ten fans out there. I know it's probably no Penn State fans no more. But you know it's a lot of people that like Michigan and Ohio uh, Ohio State and uh who else in the Big Ten? Wisconsin, Iowa. A lot of people like them teams, but to me. The Big Ten never show up in the big game. <laughs> you know what I mean? They be winning them little suck-ass bowls, but in the National Championship or the Fiesta Bowl or the Orange Bowl, except for that one year when Ohio State um, won the National Championship with Maurice Claret. But we're going to get into that later episodes also. But they, they beat Ohio State in the National Championship game, which to me pretty much was, I don't want to say it was a fix, but... They played the national championship that year in the Superdome in Louisiana, which is home field advantage. Come on, LSU playing in the Superdome, New Orleans. Of course, they had way more fans than Ohio State at that game. But anyway, they beat the game. They won the game, thirty-eight to twenty-four. I I, I want to say Ohio State was Ohio State quarterback Troy Smith that year. Did Troy Smith? Troy Smith might have left the year before that. I don't remember, but. Might if it wasn't Troy Smith, it might have been um, Kurt Krenzel or some shit. I don't remember, but Ohio State, you know what I mean? They they never show up in the national championship. Even when they beat Miami in that national championship game with Maurice Claret, that was all Maurice Claret doing. You know, Ohio State defense was pretty good, but I mean, they never really had a quarterback. You know what I mean? They they wide receivers be suspect. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments. Because I'm bashing Ohio State right now. But to me, Ohio State always be overrated every year. Every year. They got Urban Meyer this year. Urban Meyer is a great college coach. But to me, his players never transition well to the to the NFL. Excuse me. You know, Terrell Pryor's lost over there in Oakland in the uh, in Oakland depth, depth chart. And uh, who else? Who else? Urban Meyer. T- Tim Tebow. Come on. T- Tim Tebow win games. I don't even, I, d- despite his throwing ability, I don't know how he pulled it off. You know what I mean? Shame on Pittsburgh for letting Tebow get that off <laughs> in that playoff game. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. But a lot of people really love this LSU team. Man. And the reason I decided to put them number nine is because I was having this argument with my dude. And he was like, yo, you cannot forget about that. You cannot forget about that LSU team. Glenn Dorsey and them dudes was bugging. They was wilding them years and blah, blah. And I'm saying to myself, like, look. <laughs> look, Glenn Dorsey and the defense was, they. I ain't going to front. They was rocking. Glenn Dorsey was an animal that year. They was talking about Glenn Dorsey that year going for the Heisman as a defensive tackle, which was which is never heard of when you had tackles like Warren Sapp and Big, I don't know if y'all remember Big Daddy Dan Wilkinson and all them type of guys. Like they was never even mentioned. They was talking about Glenn Dorsey maybe winning the Heisman, which he didn't that year. But you know what I mean? To me, Ohio. I mean, not Ohio State. See, I'm still stuck on Ohio State. To me, LSU deserves to be number nine. I don't think they. I don't think they played anybody. Like I said, I'm only going back ten years, so I'm forced to pick these teams. They also. Uh, LSU also at the time was in a big controversy because that year Missouri went 12 and 2, also USC went 11 and 2. So it, they was trying to decide who was going to win the national championship that year. They they was going to it was going to be a split vote, but they decided to give it to LSU. I don't know why I'm not a voter, but LSU is the number nine team on the top ten college football championship teams from the last decade this is your boy authentic 973 you see my son still doing his thing 
It's your boy the past 57 on YouTube. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Remember y'all, have fun, live life. Appreciate, excuse me, appreciate life. And, you know, you know, just live every day to its fullest, man, for real. It's your boy Authentic, man. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang.